Welcome to PK Woodworking and uh, hope you're having a great day. And I wanted to um, give an update, even though I did say in the last one that I probably wouldn't be giving an update until the ceiling was finished. However, they're pretty close. So um, as you can see it, we got the um, drywall installed. They've mudded and taped and we got two coats on. Um, but we have this amazing weather going on right now in Southern California. And so they're going to have to um, probably wait till it dries. You can see, I think right up there, there's some wet spots before they can sand. So we have all this rain coming in the next few days and uh, I've got work and all that kind of fun stuff. So not sure when they're going to be able to sand. So, uh, and then I'll be able to paint, put all the rest of the stuff that I need to put in the ceiling. But as you can tell, all of the lights have been removed. So the lights are gone out of the ceiling. So I'm working from whatever comes through the garage door from a light perspective or whatever comes through the windows in the doors. And uh, that's pretty much it. I have a Milwaukee light that I use also. Um, so as if tonight gets a little darker, I'm going to have that turned on, but I do want to show you a couple of other things. Like I said before, I used the, um, light circuit and I've now installed all the four different lights that are going to control the four different banks of the lead eight foot strips I have. So a little closer here, you can see that I've got like one, two, three, four different banks that are going to control the four different outlets on the ceiling. This one right here is my outdoor lights, which I'm probably going to replace with a smart switch. And then I have these two half switches. Bottom one is for the fans. Top one is for the air scrubbers. The air scrubbers are controlled off of the grit system. So those will just be on and I'll loop them through the grit uh, sensor in the ceiling when I install that. Okay, now why we're here today, which is the insulation. So I have three pallets of insulation. I don't know if you can see them all, maybe, blocked by some stuff. But uh, I ordered rock wool, like I think I told everybody before on the previous videos. These are actually the insulation. These aren't the rock wool safe and sound, although these have properties to um, hopefully make it quieter in here for my neighbors if it ever does become an issue but i have r23 uh, that are going to go into the walls and the uh, way i'm going to do it is that they come in four foot bats i'm going to put the four foot bat on the top i'm going to put the four foot bat on the bottom and then hopefully most of my cutting and stuff that is required to do this with a little bread knife basically will happen in that middle section where i installed most of this stuff Although there's going to be a bunch of stuff where I'm going to have to cut also. So anyways, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I will run a video in the background uh, that I'll probably speed up and cram into this same video as I do this over the next two days. Hopefully I can get that done in the next couple of days because it's going to start raining uh, tomorrow. Uh, which kind of leads me to show you why I've got all this stuff inside the shop. Um, Unfortunately, I think he's going to have to do some sanding while some of my things, uh, these things here, not the machines I'm going to keep, but are going to be in the shop, which includes a planer that I'm still trying to sell. It's out there on the, um, in the front area. Don't want it to get into the weather, deal with any of that stuff. Uh, so let me show you the ceiling again. The ceiling has got all the holes routed out, um, roto zipped for the speakers in it. And then right there is one of the access points for the ceiling that they'll blow in the insulation. So I've got the scheduled already, the blow in insulation. They're gonna put R38 in the ceiling and a blow in cellulose. I've got two access panels, one here and then one down there. Uh, also this weekend, I'm going to put in some um, L brackets on both sides. It was an idea from my dad. Uh, and then I'll put some trim around the outside of it to make it look nice uh, for the two pieces that will go inside there. The people that did the drywall left me pieces so that I can cut them to fill that in before I spray paint and do all that other kind of fun stuff. So anyways, we're really coming into this place, which is why I'm really excited this particular weekend because 
we're almost to the point where this is all on me. The rest of it's all on me. I was hoping that he could have sanded the drywall and then that would let me do some painting. But because of work schedule and the rain, et cetera, this next week, I don't know when he's gonna be able to come back out here and do the sanding or not. Uh, hopefully he can get it done next week and then this next weekend, I can paint the ceiling, like that's my goal. So, one more thing. As part of this, um, which is really cool, they laid down all of this uh, paper on the concrete um, to you know, keep from the splatters of the guy doing the mud and tape from hitting the concrete, which I love. So I told them they're gonna leave this, even though it's gonna have all this goo on here, they're gonna leave this and all I'm gonna do after I put up the, uh, the rest of this um, insulation is I'm gonna put uh, some 10 foot, uh, two mil all the way around the outside of the shop. So when I spray, none of the paint is gonna hit that part of it, the walls. And then um, same thing for the floors. There's a couple of small places that he wasn't able to cover that I'll probably cover with some plastic last minute, but I've got a gray coat and I'm just gonna spray the ceilings uh, with some white uh, primer paint combo the same way I did to the last shop. So I'll be able to hopefully easily cover everything off with that um, a couple, probably a couple of hundred feet, I think of the two mil or three mil, whatever I can get a hold of, 10 foot long, just by taping it up to the top um, plate all the way around and then cover that part. I'm gonna film this part before I'm done because I wanna be able to take the mic off and do whatever. Uh, so thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. Things hopefully will start moving quicker. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple of days off from work uh, in the next few weeks to hopefully when I'm at a point for getting up the um, pieces of plywood and then start to really do the work in here. Lights in the ceiling, uh, speakers installed, fans installed, air scrubbers installed, and then I can start doing, bringing the machines in and then get the um, dust collection installed also. So hopefully all that stuff can start moving along and we'll keep, take you along the way with more video. Thanks for watching PK Woodworking. Uh, we really appreciate all the support recently. The videos are starting to get some traction. Thanks again.